Hi, I'm Ron with Cruising This Old Boat, and today I'm going to show you how to set the anchor drag alarm on your Garmin GPS Map 1243 XSV. To set the anchor drag alarm on your Garmin GPS Map 1243 XSV, the first thing you want to do is press the home button. This brings up the settings button. Press that. And then you'll see a list of which one of them is the alarms. Press that. This brings up a list of the types of alarms and the top one is the navigation alarm. Press that. And one of the navigation alarms you can set is the anchor drag. So if you want to set your anchor drag alarm, press that button. The first thing you want to do is turn the alarm on. You see here that it's in the off position. To turn it on, simply press the button. Now you see it's in the on position and you're given several choices. The first one is to edit the alarm area. If you press that, then you can determine where the alarm area is centered. To do that, press move center. Then with your finger, grab the center of the circle. And I always like to move it way away just so that I can see. You see, I've got control of it. Now, although there's a lot of garbage on there because we've been at anchor here for several days, this dot right here, that apex of that track, when we first came in, you would, would have been able to easily see that that's where I dropped my anchor, more or less. Understand that your anchor doesn't hit the bottom the second you drop it, but it's fairly close to that area. So you want to take the center of this circle and put it right on that spot as close as you can get and then let go. If you feel like you've get, gotten it in the right location, then press set center. And it is now reset it to that location. Now in this instance, you notice all of my track is on one side. That's because I'm up a river and the current is keeping me uh, pointed in one direction more or less. So um, I'm not swinging at all. I'm just staying on one side of my anchor. Once you're happy that you've got the center of your circle more or less where you believe your anchor to be, then press done. And then you can set your radius circle. Now what you want to do is remember that you've got um, some amount of distance from the bow of your boat to where this chart plotter is situated because it is using the GPS in the chart plotter. So even though you have, let's say, 100 feet of chain out, if your chart plotter is 20 feet back from the bow of your boat, then you need to assume you have 120 feet out. So always set your radius to take that into account. But to set the radius, you just press the set radius button. And you have some automatic distances to select from 100, 150, 200, etc. Or you can press other. And if you press other, it brings up a keypad and by selecting these arrows, you can move your cursor over what number you want to change. And then you can just press what number you want it to be. And that changes that number. When you're happy with what it is, you can press done. Now to recenter the alarm, what that does, the last button is let's say you zoom out because you want to see, um, the landscape around you, what's around you, then you can just hit recenter alarm area and it immediately brings you back to where the circle pretty much fills up the screen. Now at this point, it's a personal preference. You can either press the close button and go back to your navigation screen. If you do so, 
it'll still show the circle that is your anchor drag area or as I tend to do you can just leave it on the alarm screen and to me it gives you a much better picture of of the anchor drag alarm itself and, and what you're doing on the anchor so that's where I tend to keep it but that's just a personal preference now once you've set the alarm and set your anchor you want to keep an eye on it particularly if you know you're going to swing you want to watch it through one swing period because you may not again your boat may have drifted while you were dropping the anchor and where you think the anchor is may not be accurate so once you go through one swing period then you'll be able to see the the track down here you'll be able to see your track over here and you can make sure that your circle encompasses both of those tracks for those people that have two helms it doesn't matter which helm you set the anchor drag at it will alarm at both chart plotters as long as they are hooked up to each other uh, for instance mine are hooked up through Nimia 2000 so if I set it at either helm um, it will sound the alarm at both helms and that's all there is to it at that point you can go to sleep safely knowing that if your anchor drags your Garmin GPS Map 1243 XSV will wake you up. Thanks for watching.